Driller says feed it into the big fella Miller. Driller's going to step into a three. He had almost too much time, and he buries it. Two straight threes to start the game for the rebound. It was well defended by McClooney. There's Riller for three deep on the top, but he doesn't. He do, and expect him to start to be a little more aggressive as this first half winds down. You're right. He was on the bench for that run. And, of course, off the bench, he's having another big score, but his shot's blocked by Galloway. Here comes Riller. Rushing ahead and attacking off the window. Doesn't get it to go. Darling with the rebound coming the other way. He just had to give up a little bit more scoring, be more of a playmaker. And Delaware back on top by two. Here comes Riller with a step back, and that's going to be off. Which is interesting. We'll keep our eyes on him as day moves on here. He's pulling up, and he's buried it with just two on the clock. Jasper's got Mutz on him, and he wanted to take him at first, but Mutz, the big fellow, did a good job not giving any lanes. Riller's going to pull for a three, and that's going to be short. Mutz with the Riller is going to have to make something happen. Goes between the legs. A little Euro step to the lane and misses the runner. Get it here. Yeah, yeah a little, little bit. bit. He sold it. Yeah, with the next snap back. Yeah. Riller right at Mutz, but he can't finish. Good defense. Five on the clock, Anderson trying to dish it into Goss, taken away by Riller. Riller's going to hurry up. He's going to put up the three-quarter shot, and that's going to be well short, but Riller strips it away. Riller attacking off the window, and there he gets a member's roll. Old Dominion Monarch and been a terrific coach coming after the legendary Morgan Wooten at Tamatha. There's Riller. Misses the shot. Riller's got it, dialing on him. Now Mutz is going to take him, which is five on the clock. Riller's going to have to make something happen. He attacks the big fella. Little fadeaway in the lane's not going to go. Starting to assert himself a little bit more. Riller attacking, gets the contact, fights through it, and makes it on the second chance. Follow up, and Mutz, again, asserting himself more in the second half. Really got up for that one, and boom. A big answer from high school tournaments in this region. Kind of caps off the year for all these terrific teams. And there's so much talent at the WCAC, and a lot of those players we're seeing here today foul before the break. Riller going between the legs, going at Darling, at Mutz, and he scores. What a strong move. Ball on the floor, fighting for Charleston, comes away with it. Here comes Riller, pushing ahead. Gets it through, and off the window and good. And holding his hands, he knew exactly how much time was on the shot clock. Got to his sweet spot and knocked it down. The answer from Riller is going to be off the front iron and rebound. The largest lead once again for Delaware. Here comes Riller attacking through some traffic. Blocked by Mutz. Coming back at him. Riller dribbles out of the traffic. He's got Mutz on him, sees the mismatch. Off the window, what a bucket. Hey. Jasper, oh, blocked by Mutz, or excuse me, by uh, Painter. Riller with the fadeaway though, wow. Well, it's... Tough shot from Riller, doesn't go much rebound. First point of the afternoon to Sam Miller, just outside the paint, he'll sk skip it over to McManus, out to Riller, NBA three-pointer, bang! Top of the key is, is Riller, back over to McManus. Little 2-3 zone, Danny, by Drexel. As Riller penetrates in the paint, jumper, good. Starting lineup for the Cougars on the floor. Jasper, McManus, Riller, Miller, and Galloway. Riller in front of the Drexel bench, three-pointer, bang! 45 left to play in the first half. As Riller double-teamed in front of the Drexel bench, drives straight to the basket, shot up, good, and he's fouled! Your staff and also Coltrane Washington. But the Cougars have the basketball. Riller has it. Step back jumper from the right baseline. No good. Rebound grab by Walton. Jasper over to Sam Miller. Miller over to Grant Riller. Three pointer from the left corner. Bang! He's run. It's 740 left to play. Cougars on top 27 22. Riller. He'll launch a three. Off the iron. No good ball. Tried to. Almost tap. 
Over to Riller. Riller goes right around Washington. Shot up in the paint, good. Evan Galloway, Galloway in the front court along the right sideline. We'll skip it over to Grant Riller. Riller at the rim, layup left hand, good, and he's fouled. Oh, what a play. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Riller, seven. Riller, fakes. Three-pointer, off rim though, good. Cameron Wentz with the rebound. 16.05 left. Cougars on top. 44-36, step back jumper from Riller, no good. As far as two for three from behind the arc. 54-49. NBA three-pointer from Grant Riller is too strong on the rebound grab by King. So back of the way with eight seconds to shoot. Jasper, over to McManus, over to Riller, he'll launch with a John Crest logo. Bang! 58, they'll dump it down, pass stolen by Osanachi Smart. Go straight to Grant Riller. Great defense by Osanachi Smart. Pull up, jumper for Riller. No good, but he runs down his own rebound before. Looks like a man to man being played by Drexel. Riller, hesitation dribble, draws right around it, left hand layup. Ten seconds now. Riller dribbling, top of the key. Step back three from the top of the key. No good. It's the front iron. Look. Blue ends have already won. it into one. Got it. He was firing them all game. Rewarded. Miller going to work on a freshman. Used the glass. Couldn't get it to fall. They're staying in that zone. Yep. Riller just going to shoot over top of it. Left it short in Delaware. From Riller. Down the lane, it came wide open for him. Vince. Mutz has 16 points, a lead back up to eight. Riller, turning around and firing. His coach told, they had a three very quickly, and yeah. ball had been in his hands a whole lot. Speaking of which, Riller trying to get hot. If you want to look, you don't have to look any further why this game has gotten to this point. Riller, oh my, high off the glass as he beat the freshman McCoy. Knight for Charleston. Riller lost the handle, got it back and hit it. Fitness is the question. Anderson's length, he's got to stay in front of Riller. Guys have to stay home on those shooters. Wow, daggers. Riller brings it down near sideline. And he'll set it up here in the half court. Left on a switch. Linson defends. The three is no good. Good box out. Gets a screen from Linson. Rolls to the basket. Trying to bounce it to him, but couldn't get that wraparound pass. It's stolen. Riller drives. Riller hangs. The shot is good for Grant Riller in transition. Off to Sims. Looking inside. Batted away. Riller in transition. Riller, the shot is up and in. Phillips at the elbow, Okaro, Okaro shot short. Miller the rebound, the kick out to Riller in transition, and he'll slam it home with his right hand. Well, the Seahawks can in this second half, largest lead of the game for the Seahawks. Riller drives, reverse dribble, leans in, lays it in. It's going to be two and a foul. Up front defended by Phillips, they get it to Grant. On him is Gadsden. Now they look to trap with Sims, driving all the way in. Leaning in the shot around and out. Rebound Lintz in the kick. Hugs in transition a little bit too hard on the lob. And taken down the floor now by Riller. Spots up long three. No good. Another good box out by Sims this time. Hit the deck. No foul. Riller far sideline. Brings it down for Charleston. Crosses over. Gets to the free throw line. Up and under. Short with it. And Sims and Robert's up with it. 
Uh, quick hands here recently, leading to turnovers. Riller gets it, left baseline, drives it in. No good, couldn't get the follow to go. Becker to Jasper with seven on the shot clock now. Four and a half to go in this game. They drop it to Riller with four seconds, backs it away. Three on the way, around and out. Rebound Sims, but a foul on the floor. So by Okaru, you mentioned uh, good start second half. He's got 17 points for the game, 11 in the second half. Riller drives through, the shot is good as he hangs in the air. <laughs> Well, he, trying something different. He, he takes them in, in all different shapes and sizes. He had a, a crazy three at Hofstra last weekend where he was glad about the standings as these teams fight for seeding in the upcoming conference tournament. Riller off the dribble. There's Grant Riller getting it. Former four-star recruit, one of the best players out of that state. Starting to make an impact here as the season goes on. There's Riller. His second this contest, and now both Grant Riller for the CFC and Jordan Rowland for Northeastern back on the court, and Riller wastes no time. Played and back and forth throughout the entire 40 minutes. Riller was well defended that time. That's a tough shot. Good job by Shaquille. Six games. That second free throw that rolled off for Jason Strong was the first free throw miss for Northeastern. Seven of eight, Riller. So uh, I'm sure we'll see those two guys continue to heat up. Two players averaging uh, close to 50 points combined per game. Not that time. He now needs just eight more. Very good defense by Brevin Galloway. And just a little bit too much dribbling that time for Roland. Not enough ball movement. Close to the basket without Murphy this season. I'll tell you what, Shaquille Walters is doing a heck of a job guarding Riller. And he forced another miss. Third assist of the game for the point guard Tyson Walker. Riller bottled up by Jillian Smith. Air ball. Riller has Walker had it stripped away by the Dayton transfer Sam Miller. Riller for two. Still scoreless this half. Might have forced Earl Grant to call another timeout if that had gone in. Riller fading and firing, and the lid is on that basket. Score, eight and five in the league in fourth place. Brian falling to four and eight. For Tim Capstraw, John Schmelk, and our entire crew, Dave Popkins. Austin at Hofstra at the David S. Mack Sports and Exhibition Complex in Hempstead, New York for Charleston and Hofstra. We thank you for watching CAA Bat. Second foul of the ball game, both of them coming on the pride. Now Riller facing up, can't hit it. Well, that's the weak spot right there. You can get to that free throw line, find your shooters. Riller tried to buy a foul that he wasn't getting, and that leads to him. Hofstra comes down five, six seconds off the clock and scoring so easy. That's Riller, too strong. There's a reason Hoff four sideline to sideline, not going to do anything to this defense. That foul was big. Conte's on the bench now with two of them here in the first yeah. half, and Riller pays it off as he goes immediately inside. Riller finds his way inside, and it's blocked away. Great defensive help by Shiuta. <laughs> We're talking to Joe Mahalik about that yeah. today. You got You can work at it, but sometimes there's. It's as simple as having shooters on your team. Speaking of which, there's no doubt that Bowie is the guy who gets most of the eyes and accolades for this team. But Pemberton, oftentimes the glue that holds them together. Wow. Crawling to find their footing again after they had won three in a row and lost a, a tough one at home to Elon on Saturday. Off the miss, foul call himself from the top. And Smart comes down with a rebound. Here comes Riller. That's another gear. Count it. And a chance at a big time rebound. Conte, though, can't get it to his man. And Riller out in front of everybody sends a message. We've got a six point game. And that's how you do six. It's back up to an 11 point game. Reddish driving inside. And then Riller pays it off. He's got 15. Oh, that was a couple buckets and close that gap. That ball thrown away. And Riller right there to pick it up. Oh. Slow to get up now. Con Riller. 
Can't find the range. Oh, my. Got blocked by the rim. Riller says, I got this. That's a way to take advantage in training. Aim for the pride. Galloway in traffic, and Riller finds his spot underneath. Oster Pride sending a message right now. Riller lost the handle. That's Miller outside. Aims like that, especially this late in the season. Yeah, it's all ice therapy and rest. Yep. And you really do lose a day to be able to teach and practice because those. Jasper has it. Back to McManus. Over to Riller. Riller, he'll launch a three-pointer, and it's no good. It hits the back iron, but the rebound grabbed by Sheffield. Bumped on his way. Ball stolen by Grant Riller. It's two on one. Riller in the paint. Force a shot up with the right hand, and it's good. So Grant Riller. Elon on top. Cougars with the basketball. Riller's three-pointer off the front iron is no good. The rebound grabbed by Chase from McIntosh. We'll skip it in the corner to Tucker. Tucker back to Riller. Eight seconds on his shot clock. He'll fire up a three. No good. The long rebound. Bound. Five left to play. First half. And Charleston trailing 17 to 11. Galloway back on the floor for the Cougars. Riller, jumper, no good. Too strong, and the shooting rolls to play. Riller. Drives to the basket. He will lay it in with the left hand. Good. And he's fouled. A late whistle. Riller in the front court. Drives on the left side line. Drives left baseline. Explosion. Shot up at the rim, and it's good. The driving left. The lead of Elon back to five. 32-27. Riller. Pull up jumper. No good off the front iron. And the rebound grabbed by Andy Pack. Riller. Now dribbles towards the Charleston match. Now he comes to the middle of the floor, double team. Six seconds to shoot. Stop. Pop. Three. Bang! On the evening. Charleston still on top. 38-37 with 16-20 left to play. As Riller has it in front of his bench. He'll launch a three. This one rims out. And Sheffield grabs the rebound. It's the man to man. Riller, middle of the floor. It's the screen from McManus. Doesn't use it. He'll drive to the basket instead. Shot up off the glass. It's no good. And then the rebound grabbed by Chang. Grabbed by Smart. Ahead to Jasper. They got numbers. Five on four. Ahead to Riller. Riller drives to the basket in the paint. Shot up. And it's no good as the ball rims out. And the rebound grab. Riller double team. The throw underneath to Smart. Smart will kick it out to McManus. Back over to Riller. He'll launch an NBA three pointer. This one hits off the front iron. No good. And rebound grab by. Hey, they need something, yeah, to, something to turn that momentum and get that energy going on their top. Riller drives to the basket. Fadeaway jumper, good. Has it in the front court. Trying to back his way down. Step through. Shot up in the paint, and it's good. Great composure. Explosions that we're so used to seeing him at. Well, of course, the very first contest, he was able to score the final 12 points for Charleston as Riller drives to the basket. Shot up, it's no good. Smart gets the offensive rebound. Cougar basketball is Galloway. Has on the right wing. Trying to get into the gaps. Willard can get into the gaps. His scoop layup is good. We talked about it, Danny. You called for it. Sense of urgency starting to set in for Charleston as Grant Riller is close to the basket. He shot up off the glass. It's no good. Smart goes for the rebound. 65 56. Back to back fouls on three point attempts. Riller is close to the basket. Shot up at the rim. It's good. They're down by two. I mean, two. Jasper over to Riller. Riller in the front court. Middle of the floor. He'll launch a three-pointer, his front iron, no good ball, tipped out, nope, grab. So McManus has it in the front court, Riller right in front of the tribe bench. He'll launch a three-pointer for the right wing, and it's good. A steal on the possession. As Paul McCooney comes up with the steal. Grant Riller has it in the front court, he'll launch an NBA three-pointer, no good, too strong. Ball loose, ran down by McManus, and the deep Olsen on top. 7.15 left to play. Riller gets the screen from Miller. Jumper inside the circle, no good off the back iron. Rebound grabbed by Scott Over to Miller. Over to Grant Riller. Inside the circle, drives. Fadeaway jumper, no good. The ball rims out. Rebound grabbed by Nathan Knight. That's his to play as McManus has it. Over to Galloway. Galloway will dump it down to Riller. Riller drives. Shot up at the rim, and it's good. That's a tough shot because he had to shoot it. Move in the same ways. He's a little bit more free flow and more comfortable on the perimeter. 
Griller with the basketball, draw straight to the rim, left hand layup, good, good. The ball yeah. went around rim like two. 10 for 30. So Cougars on the attack. Jasper, will dump it down to Riller, turn around, jumper from the right baseline is no good. Ball knocked out of bounds, it looked like Sam Miller, over to Grant Riller. Riller drives, jumper in the paint, no good. The rebound grab by Knight, knocked out of his head. Over to Riller with 7.20 left to play. Charleston on top, 54-47. Riller dribbles left, stop, pump, NBA 3, too strong. Off the back iron, but the rebound grab by... No, he and Fobbs were a combined 6 out of 19. Riller off the dribble is going to shoot the deep three, in and out. Defense by Fobbs and he here. In the early going, Epps wow, may have gotten away with the walk. Or an offensive foul. And, and Riller makes him pay. Knocks down. Defense! 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 Riller Rill with Fobbs back on him. And again, Fobbs did nothing wrong defensively. For the week, a couple of weeks back. Yeah, that week he wasn't Tonto. Oh, that's a tough shot. Riller is putting Fox, on a hood, and it's Miller with the rebound. That's a tough shot going right for a lefty shooter. You're always surprised. It gives him some size. Timberlake thought Sanders would roll to the basket. Turnover. Again, that'll still be Charles. Nice move. Riller spinning, dotting in circles. Just in the air. <laughs> I didn't think my mic was off. He Riller passed up a shot there. One second on the shot clock. Tough shot. Back iron. Took a, uh, this afternoon, 6 of 12. Really, three-point shooting has often been their Achilles heel. Nice move there by Riller. In fact, and he rolls to the basket, though. Riller from the logo. Backs it off. I'd foul him right now. Four seconds. Too late. Too and he late. nails it. <laughs> That's great. Back door to Riller. Not stopped by Beecher. Great head fake. And follow. And gets it to fall. Well, even when he misses. He played on a rubber floor. Yeah. Riller. And Towson's done a good job on Riller. Just two points here in the second half. Four. And as I say that, <laughs> he knocks it down. And again, trying to, tra trying to create a trap. It's tough to trap Riller. Riller's going to use the Miller pick. Outside yeah, shot like is I good. said, it's tough to trap Riller. <laughs> <laughs> Two more years of eligibility starting next season. Another DeMatha product. And the three is good for this thing. Leads all scores. Riller trying to make something happen. Against some big bodies in the way of Riller. Good recognition there, and he finds a wide open. There's a tough shot from Mutz, does not go. Riller bringing it up for the Cougars. Quickly, to Galloway for three. He's got it. We'll make that jazz. Local connections to this D.C. area with the high school players from DeMatha. Miller off the window, and he finally. Calls for the ball screen. Gets the ball screen, dribbles left. Riller, one-on-one -on -one against Butler. Skip over to Sam Miller, three-pointer, bang! Jasper over to Riller, underneath to Epps. Epps on the left block, turnaround jumper, good, and he's fouled. 15 to play. Galloway over to Riller, Riller dribbles around, underneath, pass to Sam Miller, shot up at the rim, that should be a goal standing, it is. Sam we got ourselves a tie ball game as we come up on four and a half left to go.
of the game at seven. Looking to add to it. Painter loses it. Riller strips it away. Oh, not the way they want, but certainly a lot to be proud of. On a turnover, though. Here comes Lee. The bigger concern is next week in Washington, D.C. Exactly. Steal by Grant Riller. They got two on one. Riller over to Galloway. And Consistently can get into your offense. Darling into the lane. Knock free. Riller working to. Miller shoots it at 39% from beyond the arc. Struggles continue for Ryan Allen. And off the rebound, Riller comes out. Especially the ones who are sitting right behind us. <laughs> Mutz wow. at his pocket pick. Look who was playing possum. Seahawks lead by two of the ball. Driving in. No look pass to Linson. Linson strip going up. Coming away with it is Riller. Riller in the hands of Gaston. Left lock, Linson. Trying to get into the paint, knocked away by Galloway. Jasper comes up with it. Not Ruth. Okaro the handoff to Tolfrey. Tolfrey trying to shake, drives in, stripped by Riller, and gets it to the hands of Galloway from the seat of his 13 points. You can make a couple buckets and close that gap. That ball thrown away, and Riller right there to pick it up. To not do anything. I will say, all teams are dealing with that in this conference, though. So All teams in America are dealing yeah, with that right yeah, now. Yeah. Especially if you're a team that does not go deep, deep into your bench. And Hofstra does not. Court himself. Woods, the right wing, over to Sheffield. Sheffield bumped on his way. Ball stolen by Grant Riller. It's two on one. Riller in the. McIntosh on the left baseline working against Riller. Spins, turns, ball knocked out of his hand. Stolen by Riller. And then a foul. Sanders stripped by Riller. Here comes the senior. Clearly. Bowie. Coburn, he'll drive. Stop ball. Knocked out of his hand. Stolen by Grant Riller. Riller's in the front court. One on two. Coburn turns down the three. He'll drive into the paint. Wrap around past the content. Hit him in the face. And it's a turnover. And Riller will come up. Here comes Hofstra. Ray in the front court. Six seconds. Ray dribbles around. Had the ball knocked out of his hand. Stolen to Grant Riller. Riller. 12 to 7. Northeastern. A lot of scoring early on. Walters had the ball stolen away by Grant Riller. They got numbers, three on two ahead. Love about this Northeastern offense, so much movement. Constant movement by the Huskies. Another steal by Riller. He picked his pocket from the back. Riller in the middle of the... Walker splits the double team into the paint. Pass stolen by Grant Riller. What has Grant not done? Franklin will inbound it. They tried to do the lob and the steal by Grant Riller. He read that perfectly. Eastern, a lot of scoring early on. Walters had the ball stolen away by Grant Riller. They got numbers, three on two. Ahead to Jasper. You love about this Northeastern offense, so much movement. Constant movement by the Huskies. Another steal by Riller. He picked his pocket from the back. Riller in the middle. Walker splits the double team into the paint. Pass stolen by Grant Riller. What has Grant not done? Franklin will inbound it. They tried to do the lob and the steal by Grant Riller. He read that perfectly. For, for Charleston. Scott on the left wing behind the back dribble. And now throws it away. They got a fast break opportunity because of it. Down the lane. Sheffield. Marcus with the catch. He'll fire for the three. Missed everything. Irvin, though, on the retrieval. Loops it away and right into the hand. Into. Loops it to Sheffield. Marcus with the catch. He'll fire for the three. Missed everything. Irvin, though, on the retrieval. Loops it away. Justice in the steal. Willard. So back to action. JMU with the basketball. Harvey's ball stolen by Grant Willer. Right on two. At a steal now. He's among the top defensive teams in the league, and for some reason Drexel's been able to score the last couple years against him. Passing to Okros, that's a steal. Passing's a little bit loose there. It leads to a turnover, Riller. Today for the Cobras. As Lindsey drives to the basket, and then they'll pass it off to McLeish, and then that, he threw it away. Grant Riller in the front court, one-on-one, -on -one, he goes up the slide. A lot of players have moved on, and you talk about building from scratch. That's exactly what they've been able to do. And there you see Riller with the steal. Long Beach State. Riller returns the favor. Picks Pipkin's pocket for the lay-in. Providence up 10. Behold. Andrew Gaudwak, number one on that list, former Los Angeles Laker. 
Riller the steal. Has 149 career three-pointers made. Looking to continue to climb up that list. Riller got in the way of that Goudlock. Number one on that list, former Los Angeles Laker. Riller the steal. In Wake Forest history, he now has 149 career three-pointers made. Looking to continue to climb up that list. Two wins the last three years at UCF. He's got this program treading in the right direction. And a turnover here. Riller behind his. Smart to enter the game, Riller. averaging 2.3. Gets on Get up in Marshall, up tight, and pressure the ball. Uh, just created the first turn. Here's another one. And Riller okay. swipes it away from Kane. Defense, the steals, the dunks, and the tray ball. All right, March seven. Here we go again with Riller. Now with five threes in the contest, Shaw Rennitz comes oh. out there with it and trying to feed down to West. But Riller steps in the season, John, to get their rhythm under thirty percent. Here in downtown historic Charleston, steal by Riller. Mike Blinton Jr. gives the play. The Zogwa has it stolen by Riller. Ahead of the fan. Day. Feels the double, bad pass, and Riller picks it. Indeed. Five on the clock, Anderson. Trying to dish it into Goss, taken away by Riller. Riller's going to hurry up. He's going to put instead of shooting jump shots, finishes that one with his left. So for Grant Riller, that's nine points, but again, it's come on ten shots, and there's a high arcing shot from Allen that does shots in the game. Well, he shouldn't be frustrated because there was no contact there, and he wanted a foul. There was no foul there. Anderson off the window with a... Right now, just trying to probe and, and pick Charleston apart. And Allen will get called for the foul, helped by more than ever, thinking about being careful with the basketball. Off the mid. Phillips, Dodd, and Okaru. Gats in the handoff to Okaru. Back inside to Dodd. Dodd with a shorter riller, able to get it over the line by Jasper. As he gets over the stripe far sideline. Screen, couple of screens. Drives it right. Dumping it to Linson. Linson up and in. Dehawks ball. Ten on the shot clock here. Phillips out front. Gets a screen from Linson. Won't use it. Drives it right. Steps through. Lost it going up. Loose ball. Re now, reverse dribble. Drives it in, splits the defense, keeps it alive, drops it to Linson. Linson, foul going up for the shot. We've seen the turnovers are creeping up, and that is not something that is generally part of this Cougar DNA. Jillian Smith had it swatted by Riller. The preseason.
for the Dragons. Along the right side line, get it into Butler. Turn around to Green. Over to Cameron Winter. Winter's three-point attempt is no good off the iron. Higher last time out, so they have been in a bit of a shooting slump. Delaware with the three-point lead in the ball. And the first possession yeah. of the second game a little bit. They'd also love to get the crowd involved. He's trying it again. Uh-oh. Finding the open man, and once again, Pemberton, an extra step to his... over to Sheffield with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Wooten, he'll fire a three-pointer. That one rims off no good. Smart grab. And th that's another point Pat Scary made. He said, I want to make him work at the defensive end, try to tire him out a little bit. Beatron drew the foul. The clock is now under a minute, which means that if they score, the, sh the, the clock will stop. Shots. I think that's a low quality shot, even though we made it. You can get another point. Just step back. He's got to know that. He was coming off the screen, though. Coaches around the country. That's a big problem for young players is a lot of them don't want to stay in the gym, but get results when you stay in if you're not left on the shot clock. Towards that Charleston bench. Now come back to the top of the key. Over the box. Launch a three. It's no good. Rebound. B. Hoster's basketball. So that's the sixth team foul against Charleston. Hoster's committed five. Ray, three pointer from the left wing. Good. The shots. It's Gibson guarded by Jasper. Over to B. Tran. He'll fire a three pointer off the curl. No good. Yep. Bright future here at Charleston. Hill. Over the Kennard, three-pointer, air ball, he shot it over. Like well, well, it's just another rule to make sure you speed up the tempo of the game, which people tend to like. Francis Messi. Sometimes talent evaluation can be a little tricky, but most rarely see people get play. And you look at even a team like St. Mary's. They're, they stepped up their non-conference schedule specifically because the selection committee made a point to... Eight turnovers on Charleston. Diallo back to the basket, faces up. Tough shot over Jalen McManus. You give him. He averaged 29 a game. Yeah, he played. How does that happen, Mike? <laughs> He played for the Q6 All Stars in AAU for Willie Anderson. Out of Molly, the sophomore four star recruit. Green from the free throw line. May have got that. There's Tavion Kinsey from the baseline. Right, just Mike Boynton done a fabulous job from Brooklyn. Smart doing a great job facing up against an A and the Zagwa again. The last five league games we've been playing, they've really been letting them play. And I think it's a much smoother game when they let them play. Harp with a jumper. As we get our second foul. New shot clock for K.A. as he brings it back out. Crossover dribble on McManus. Now Horn, his chance at a three, fading away from deep. B-Train, B-Train, it's over to Howard. Howard, over to McNeil, fakes the three. Pull-up jumper from outside the right elbow. It's no good. 27. Dotton with the bounce pass to McNeil, shot up off the glass, it's no good, the rebound, not opportunity to tie it or take the lead with 7.25 left to play, 43-41, Charleston on top, three-pointer for McNeil, this one's two, Parker guarded by Brantley, over to Wilson, Wilson, pass, three-pointer from the right corner from Matt Lewis, it's no good, rebound, grab the screen from Jacobs, throw it out to Wilson, they'll swing it over to Mosley, he'll rise, he'll fire three, and good, stuck, Wilson, he pops out, over to Parker with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Get a three-pointer from the top of the key for Urbach. It's no good. The rebound grab provides solid minutes for the Cougars. So Duke's basketball is the three-pointer from the top of the key. is no good. Too strong by Matt Lewis. With possession now at the Hofstra logo. 5.30 remaining. Ray open for three. He hits it! To Kaycock out front. Taves near sideline. Taves goes to the top of the offense, left to his teammate, feet set, three on the way is all net. The offense that time was not a good decision. Harris, why not? Nope, that one rattled off. Of the ties the Cougars' largest lead here tonight against the Rams. 
pull-up jumper is called by Presbyterian. We'll keep it right, inbound it right in front of the Charleston bench. Bell has it. we will fire it over to Flagler. His three-pointer is no good. Jalen McMahon. Heron off to catch from Harper. Two more years to enjoy him with the try. 9 of 13 from the field for the former Nottingham Bulldog from Syracuse. Long range shot. First half. Tally sets it up. against the defensive Johnson. Hips it right baseline to Taylor. His shot is up.